Hello everybody, my name is Aiden, this is my lovely wife Maddie, and welcome to the Post Game of Thrones show. But before we get any further spoilers ahead... Yes, they are, and in case you're wondering, the Post Game of Thrones show comes to you every single Monday following a brand new episode of Game of Thrones, where we discuss, react, make predictions in a battle for our very own Iron Throne. That's lies this week, though. Yeah, a little we're bit. We're just late. <laughs> yeah, we're a little bit late. We apologize. But... Because we're late, we're just we're get gonna, into it. Yeah, we're just gonna fucking we're just, just gonna... go straight ahead ahead. Okay, so there are actually kind of a bunch of reunions in this episode. There was Arya and Sansa, Arya and Bran, and uh, John and Theon, who was more or less of a reunion and more of a like I'm a fucking kill you y kind Three's of a thing. Three's a bunch. I'll give you. Three Three's a bunch. bunch. I, when you first said a bunch, I was like Arya and Sansa. That's that's the only one that's I remember. Yeah, two to three is two. Two is not very many. Suddenly, three's a bunch. Three's a bunch. There's yeah. just shit loads after that. <laughs> Four's a shit load. <laughs> but um i liked aria and sansa's reunion i agree because Not it too was sweet. like no because it's awkward they hated each other they never liked each other yeah aria seems to kind of blame sansa for things and sansa blames aria for things and you know it's just not going to be like the most heartfelt reunion i agree i think there were a lot of people that felt like that was like almost too awkward but i thought it was like really quite perfect it was for... definitely fucking awkward though oh I, yeah i mean i was like sitting in my chair i'm like oh my oh. god just hug already what yeah. the fuck you guys no. are sisters just do that like... but i think it fit the characters perfectly mm -hmm. i agree uh, the Bran and Arya one, Bran is just... Still emotionless. Doesn't care about anyone. He's a real pain in the ass. Except I do love... He helped with the whole... You know, Arya brings up her list in the first place, and Sansa's like, oh, uh, you're joking. You're Yo, funny. Oh, you. you funny. Yeah, and then Bran's like, oh, no, her list. And Sansa's like, fuck. <laughs> they're almost all dead now, aren't they? Or what does he yeah, say? Or something or like, like that. And Sansa's like, oh, shit. Sh damn it. Damn. I th yeah, yeah, I thought that was a cool part. Yeah. Um, but that kind of brings into that... Bran is carrying around a knife. He gives it to Arya. Yeah, the cat's paw dagger. fuck does Littlefinger care to give that to Bran? I, I couldn't figure that out. I, I don't thought. really know. I we was... killed him, right? Like, that's why we have... Are you shitting me, Toast? Hi, dog. Are you shitting me? This he's is... just mad that no direwolf was Yeah, in he's it. like, what the fuck, guys? Ghost has not been in an episode for... Like, this is not good. Almost two full seasons. He just has to bark at us to get what he wants. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not good, really. It's not good. He's very spoiled. All right, but the knife. So we killed the guy who was holding it, I'm yes. assuming, because that's why we have the knife. Yeah, I can't remember that happening. So what the, the quick history of the cat's paw dagger is somebody, an unknown person, we don't know who, gives it to an assassin who attempts to kill Bran with it in episode two of Game of Thrones. Oh, you still have a Band-Aid on you. That's gross. All right. <laughs> pretend that's not there. Okay. Um... In episode two of Game of Thrones, and then uh, Caitlin, Catelyn Stark takes the dagger from that person after uh, Summer, who's Bran's dog, kills him. Oh, yes, yes, and yes. And then they, Catelyn takes that dagger down to King's Landing, where she shows it to Littlefinger, who says that this was a dagger that he used to own, but then lost in a bet to Tyrion Lannister, which convinces Kate, Catelyn that Tyrion tried to have Bran murdered, but of course we know it wasn't Tyrion, because Tyrion's a good dude. So, we don't really know... Why the know... fuck would Littlefinger give it to Bran when Bran is all-knowing. I was really irritated, though, because I was hoping Bran would just tell us because he's all-knowing. Yeah. But he's one of those all-knowing people who's like, oh, because I know you don't need <sighs> he's to. He's like fucking Dumbledore. He just speaks in riddles. It's I know. Stupid. It's stupid. Bullshit. But he's, like, less cute than Dumbledore. Like, Dumbledore, oh, yeah, you, for sure. you could forgive because he was he always was talking about cute. candy and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. <sighs> if Bran ever wants to be like, look, here's a lemon drop. Like, it'd be okay. Here, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Here, no knowledge about what I know. But yeah. Here's a lemon drop and, but you know, no. Yeah. <gasps> okay, anyway, but no, I don't know why uh, Littlefinger gave it to him. My thought is maybe that he's trying to curry favor, because that's what Littlefinger does. He tries to make everybody like him. I was almost wondering if he gave it to him to kind of figure out. Maybe he actually doesn't know who yeah. tried to... I mean, we kind of know, but why do they Do you think a... it was Littlefinger that tried to kill him? Mm, no, I was thinking that it was definitely the Lannisters, because... we. Well, I think that we know that it wasn't... Jamie or Cersei. Okay, but like the Lannisters in a whole. In, as a whole? I guess like as Tywin. He's been dead for a while. I can't remember his name. Ty yes, Tywin. Um, in the books, uh, quick spoiler for the books. We know who it was in the books. If Skip ahead 15 seconds in the book. Uh, it was Joffrey. Who wanted him killed? Mm -hmm. Why? To impress the king. This is stupid. Yeah. So stupid. I don't know. Really End book spoilers. Okay. <laughs> I'm going back to it. Are you? Beginning book spoilers. Right, 15 that... more seconds. That's stupid. Why? Why was he trying to impress the, the king? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not 100% sure that's what happens in the book, but Jamie and Tyrion have a conversation about it in the books where that it's pretty... Uh -huh. 
clear that's what happened because um he didn't like the, in the books jamie i think joffrey and bran have a little scuffle or something and so to impress the king he has him killed I don't Do, know. but why does the assassin have um dragon um glass well because it it's uh joffrey in the books Joffrey takes it's the book spoilers going way too long. Joffrey takes uh, Go then <laughs> Joffrey takes Tyrion's dagger to make it look like it was Tyrion. Okay, but why does Tyrion have dragon glass? Because he won it fa- from Littlefinger in a Why tournament. does Littlefinger have dragon glass? Because why is dragon glass here? It's Valerian Steel. Okay, okay, okay. The Valerian Steel, it's the cat's paw dagger, which we also see in a book that Sam is reading in the beginning of this season that talks about the gigantic dragon glass mountain. So it's a very old book and that dagger is in it. So it's a very old, important dagger, and Littlefinger owns it for unknown reasons. Probably okay, because he's there rich. we go. Unknown. You could have said that, and we would have been able to do the 15-second thing. Yeah, well, I don't think so. I w- yes. It could. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. So the knife thingy, let's go. Okay. Um, so I think that it's because he's trying to make Bran like him. He doesn't know that Bran is the Three-Eyed Raven. All he knows is that the boy who's probably going to be the new Lord Stark is there, and he's trying to curry favor with him. Okay, that makes sense. That's my guess. You got this. Okay. <laughs> so, Bran gives the cat spot dagger to Arya, who I think, I my theory is that Arya is the single greatest fighter in Westeros now. Thoughts? Oh, yeah. She has that cool fight with Brienne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I, okay, I wouldn't say the single best fighter in all of Westeros, because that just seems like, I don't know. There's a lot of people in Westeros. There I, are I a lot of people in out. Westeros. So all the people we know. I agree that Arya could beat any of them. But... It does make sure to show that Brienne kicks her across the freaking farm. She does. Like, I don't know. I. But it was only because it kept going. I mean, yeah. Arya. Except no, they kept having like. They were like both of both them. Both could kill each other at the same time. I don't know. I think. Arya's I think Arya could have won. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Um, Still, I was just trying to. Because I, th- I, I would have said before that fight that Brienne was the best fighter in all Westeros. I think. Because Jamie Lannister does well, not I have mean, his right hand Well, I mean, we already know that, like, Arya, she gets stabbed, like, 15 times and then blows out a candle and fucking wins. Like, yeah. we, like, <laughs> we should have known. Badass. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and then, uh, I think Bronn actually might be a pretty good fighter. Yeah. Oh. In the mountain, we don't know what he can do now that he's the oh. Franken Mountain. Yeah. We don't know what the extent of his fighting capabilities are. Okay, so... Oh, and then Sansa's looking down from the like the little balcony thing, and she's all pissed. Why I is she all pissed? I couldn't figure that out. I kind of think it's... It, this is probably really dumb and not it at all. But I think it's like looking down, and you first see them when they're pushing Brandon, and it's happy, and you're smiling, and it's all good. And then it goes straight back into everything that's wrong with the world. Like, she already knows that, yeah, Arya's had to go kill people. Arya's been through a lot. Brand still the three-eyed raven. I think it was just a slap in the face, like, let's get back to work kind of anger face. Not, like, actually mad. That makes sense. I'm going to go with it. It's jealousy. I don't know if Sansa... Yeah, no, you're right. Sansa is jealous, usually. Yeah, I don't uh, know. The dog it could is be both. hurting me, and I'm having a hard he's time He's kind of thinking. being a jerk. Yeah, but he's teething, and I, I don't know. Just keep going. <laughs> okay, so in Dragonstone, when they're walking through that cave, there's some serious John and Danny sexual tension. Like serious it, it's prevalent it, i know the problem is it really is like They're like we're gonna walk to the other end of this cave let me grab your hand what no yeah remember he's like no let he, me lead you to the other well, side of this she's room. wearing a fucking like she has to oh whatever you're right you're right but i mean the body language everything was spelling that out mm-hmm. and i i guess what I realized, because before in our last episode, I was like, I really don't want them to get together. Yeah. But then it was really happening. I was like, fuck, I got to get over it. And um, so we've had seven seasons working up to this point. And in my mind, it just feels like it's so forced right now because they've only been together really for like two episodes. Yeah. And there's already sexual tension and blah, blah, blah. But I guess there's been seven seasons seasons leading to a song of ice and fire so i just need to get over it yeah and i mean if that's what it is then they're meant for each other and that you know yeah so then yeah there should be sexual tension yeah i i just don't want it forced i agree with that and i I, think he's gonna leave pretty soon and then there won't be any more sexual tension for a little bit and then okay that that... all righty so then uh we've saved it for the best for last i suppose the final epic battle sequence which is so dope i mean (sighs) i was you know, leaning forward, holding toast, 
trying not to letting him bite me as hard as possible and yeah. just not even being phased because that was weird. It was the first ever scene where you don't really know who you're rooting for. And yeah. it's really hard. I mean, of course, deep down and after everything, I'm like Danny is my queen. And yeah. So, She's your jam. Yeah. And so I, I'm rooting for Danny, but at the same time, when Jamie is going to, you know, he's going to be selfless and he's going to sacrifice himself. I'm like, fuck, pretty dragon, badass. don't, yeah. don't. Uh, yeah. Maybe he could ride the third dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that was kind of cool when Bronn saved him. I did have a little bit of like, okay, this is where the show is now. No one's dying anymore. Are they? <laughs> like, I know, which we're not, is We're weird. not killing main characters anymore. Those guys, like, those days are over. Well, I think I was really sure that Jamie was dying that one. Yeah, I, I guess I was positive. too. Well, when he first didn't flee, it kept he had a ton of opportunities to leave and he kept not doing it. I was like, "Holy shit, Jamie's dead." And then yeah. I'm going to be right and my the whole prediction will be is correct. wrong and yeah. yeah. Exactly. No, but I, was I mean super stoked. And then I was like, "Fuck, I don't want Jamie to die." Like, but I think that that episode's going to be remembered as like it's my favorite episode ever, but I think it's going to be in the echelon of Game of Thrones episodes. I think that's like number 3 or 4 right now for in, in the general public. It was a fucking good episode. I think if the dragon snaps Jamie in, in half at the end and kills him, it's number one easily. Oh, yeah, for sure. I Well, when you see the dragon and then it pans to where you can see Danny is riding the dragon, I was yeah. like, shit, Ooh. she not listen to anyone. No, dude. And, I don't, and Tyrion I mean, watching the battle was intense. Awesome. Like, you I mean, fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Idiots. Turn around. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that was a good... I honestly, I'm kind of glad we've took a couple days to make this video because it was just a hard it was a different kind of episode it was a different ballpark i wouldn't i don't think i would have been able to do it coherently at all well like, i just would have been like yes oh, yes no yes, yes. no sorry sorry, sorry. <laughs> i know let's really quickly do you want to rank the battles in game of thrones all the all big right. battles okay so number one you have the uh blackwater battle in the season two when Tyrion fights and gets a scar on his face it's so weird because I total I feel like that's a very forgettable battle. I agree with that. It's actually really cool, but not as much for the battle scenes, more for the what's going on around it, like yeah. the speeches Tyrion gives and shit yeah. like that. Um, the battle at the wall in season four, I think, where the wildlings attack and there's the giants and I everything. Like he's just like, you know, sorry, you, you sorry, just... you keep going. <laughs> How can I pay attention to you when he's doing this? I though? agree. Go. Uh, and then there's hard home. Hard home. And then there is the Battle of the Bastards, and then there's this. What's Hard Home? Um, where the White Walkers and all the wildlings. Oh, up. that one's pretty dope. Too. That one's really cool. That's my number one. I think this is number two. Battle of the Bastards is three. Wall and Okay, then Battle of the Bastards is my one. Like Really? I feel like that was so intense I couldn't believe what was happening and how much people and then the behind the scenes really like sold it for me. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, those are all real people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or holy shit, those are, <laughs> those are fucking horses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'd say the Battle of the Bastards. Then I would say this one. Uh, then I would say um, the the White Walker one. I'm sorry, I don't know the... Hard Home. Hard Home. And then... The Wall and Blackwater are yeah. two options. I, Blackwater's, Blackwater's the my bottom. last one. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay, so should we move on to our MVP of the episode? Yes. Who is your... Oh, Danny. Danny's my MVP. I'm going to go Danny, too. I, I'm tempted to give it to Arya, because she's the bomb digging. Well, I, you would give it to Arya every single time. But I'm giving it to Danny because you see the dragon. Mm. I didn't expect to see her. I don't know why I didn't, even though it was really... Okay. Toast on the desk, guys. <laughs> it was really easy to... No? Oh, he just wanted to switch. Hey, bud. Um, Whoa, nope, 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 nope. Sometimes you have a dog on your desk. Every once in a while. This is my favorite kind of dog on a desk. Yeah. All right, but um, I didn't expect it because Tyrion told her not to, so I thought, like, she's going to break the rules kind of. And it's not like she's breaking the rules because she's making them for herself, but she, no, she was like, fuck that. Yeah, I'm just like, going to ride a dragon. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think that Danny's a safe bet. I would right. give it to Arya every single time. I think yeah. I've given it to Arya every single time. Jamie she like, almost... she like wasn't in last episode. I'm like, it's fucking Arya, guys. <laughs> Jamie could have had it too, though, because like the when he sprints towards her, he he's gonna take one for the team. He's just gonna hurt the dragon even more. I would agree with that, except for one small issue. What? Throw the spear, you dumbass. 
Yeah, I was thinking that too, but I the force that he can exert versus the force that the horse can exert is two different things. I, I mean, I get that. It's, he's already not going through. Yeah, like he's not going to... There's a dragon next to her. Like, this isn't going to end You're well totally for you. You're totally right. Okay, whatever. Just throw but it. Danny, Danny is the MVP. Okay, I agree with that. Okay, that's it. Agreed. Okay, moving on to the predictions of the battle for Aaron on Throne. Fuck, we still have that part. He's is really eating hurting you. me. Yeah, he's, he's not being a good dog. <laughs> my prediction is that Toast will hopefully be done teething by next week. Yeah. Um, what is your predi- what, what My is number one prediction is less of a prediction and more of a... I'm, I'm a little bit upset about this, so I'm going to make a, a snide prediction. We're never going to see fucking Ghost again. They're just not going to do it. I don't know what the hell. Oh my god, where, you're right. He's still with John. He didn't go to the Battle of the Bastards because they didn't want to spend the money on the CGI. He has not showed up at all in this entire season because they don't want to spend the money on the CGI. They're willing to spend the money on three fucking huge-ass dragons flying around, but okay, they're well, like I'd rather some to... wildebeest dog, and they're like, oh, you're, they're going to do it. They're never going to show us Ghost again. I'm getting over it. He's going to like die off screen. That is so, so sad. I'm over it. That is so sad. <laughs> um, I would say that the next battle is going to have the freaking wa- walkers. I think so. Well, yeah. the next episode is called Eastwatch. Oh, that doesn't count then. So I can't say that. Um, Toast, what is your prediction? Because you really don't care about mine. Where? He looks feral. Um, I think he is feral. He needs to be cleaned. He played in a sandbox. <laughs> um, God, I predictions are my hardest part. Uh, I guess, well... So John's, I'm going to say John's not at the battle. Of the, like the, of the, the White Walkers. Okay. Have you said that? No. No, oh, okay. My next prediction is, is. that John is at the battle? That John will, we'll see him at Dragonstone next episode because we, we know from, excuse me, know from the trailer that we will and then he will go Fuck. back up is north. Is it, and the trailer shows us, oh, that he's at Dragonstone. Okay. <laughs> he will go back up north. And participate in the battle at Eastwatch in the same episode. Because suddenly teleportation is available in Westeros. Well. And or. He's going to ride a dragon. Well, I was going to say dragon. that, like, I will take a, my, like, so I'm just going to keep it even. If he rides an undragon, dragon, I also get a point. Okay. So <laughs> I'll just be at a zero. So wait, you're going to, you're going to, you're going <laughs> to say he rides a dragon up there? That's dope. I'm going to say that he has at least one, um positive interaction with oh shit you're right Rhaegal before that happens not not that he'll he'll probably maybe have a positive interaction with Drogon while Daenerys is writing uh him but it'll be he'll have before he leaves he'll have some sort of a interaction with Rhaegal where there'll be some weird bonding all right we gotta shit. hurry what is our what is our next one I don't know you give him one more this is sad this is sad the wildling, what's his name? Torment. Dies. Sad. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to say that he dies next episode. All right. And then they ruin my thing of we're not going to kill main characters anymore. Yeah. Even though they're not, guys. Like, let's be real. They're only killing people we don't care about. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, comment on it, and subscribe to our channel. All the wonderful, happy, fun stuff. And remember, we're going to be here every single Monday to discuss, react, make predictions about battle for our very own Iron Throne. We're actually going to be here on Monday next time. Right, man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ghost, what? hurry and finish! I'm gonna call him Ghost now because it rhymes so <laughs> good with say toast. Ghost? Yeah, it is. I call him Ghost. Oh, Toasty's a ghost. Toasty's a Go. ghost. <laughs> Peace out. Bitches.